Good morning. This is Paula, your Golden Ray Twin Flame Earth Angel. And this is our Twin Flame Divine Love Reading. Beginning with the beautiful full moon energies of uh, the 12th of March 2017. And I'd like to begin by saying thank you so much to uh, the beautiful souls that did provide feedback and you know of course the feedback I get from the Lord so that is so awesome and thank you very much so let's begin our reading and we'll start with the masculine and he has the king of water the three of air and the four of fire and the feminine has the queen of water oh, the king and the queen the Six of Earth and the Page of Air, which I believe the Masculine may have had last week. And the card overall for these energies is the Hermit, Archangel Raziel. Well, both cards are crowned with the King and Queen of Water. <laughs> which is beautiful, isn't it? The king of water. Trustworthy, compassionate, respected and cultured. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice, charity work. Oh, that's lovely. And he has the three of water. Oh, I'm sorry, the three of air. <laughs> and the three of air says, Great sadness. Take time to heal. The need to forgive yourself and others. And he has the four of fire. Contentment peace and abundance, a happy home life, the successful completion of a project. Obviously something the masculine is quite passionate about. And the feminine crowns with the queen of water, tender-hearted, empathetic, patient, loving. Relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition care for yourself and others. Well, she is so beautiful and she's looking out down into the matrix with her love, her healing, her power, her connection to the Christ consciousness, to the universal energies of love. And she has the six of earth, gifts of money, time or effort, new career opportunities, receiving a loan or paying off debts. And you see these scales, this beautiful little fairy is um, balancing her scales, balancing the beauty of her life. And the page of air, logical, honest, impulsive and curious. Challenging information, delays or changes to plans, truth delivered without tact. So this week, the masculine and feminine are crowning in their emotional world. So he is truly opening his heart You know, even though like in the Matrix he's had his arms crossed, you know, that's a, a real defensive sort of gesture actually. But um, he's, he's mastering that, he's going within to master these, these emotions. And the Three of Air. Well... In the ego matrix, there, there are things to be sad about. And, 
even though there's great sadness you can see there's comfort here you know the beautiful little baby is you know hugging up to his um to his parents here or whatever so you know this could be a family thing but there's also the beautiful golden light there of healing so you know it, it is all about forgiveness releasing and letting go of any of those negative energies and the four of fire contentment peace and abundance a happy home life successful completion of a project so as always when there is completion when there's endings there is also some sort of sadness as well I mean you know you did get something out of that um, you know that situation and you know there is a sadness when you have to leave uh, people ideas uh, perspectives behind because they, they comforted you in the matrix they, they seemed to help you at that time but um, this fire energy is just moving up here and you know he's embracing that that sorrow that sadness and understanding that that's a kind of surrender you know it's a surrendering the past and you know things that he he knows that he you know he might have uh, not done the best that he possibly could and the king of water is showing his resurgence into that his knowledge that that is his you know his true self he's sad at maybe letting things go from the past but emotionally he's in control he's the king of water and you know the king of water understands that sometimes you do have to let things go and and it is good because it's a successful completion of a project you've passed that stage you've, you're on to the next level and that's really exciting for the masculine and the feminine she could have some challenging information this week in the matrix and you know she could be surrounded by you know a lot of people that are in the matrix it's all about the ego it's all about uh, money or or power or, or, or whatever and um, you know she's got to be on guard against that I mean there she is with her sword and she's looking back into the matrix she's guarding herself and she's got you know her spirit animals here to help her and she's guarding herself because she is logical honest impulsive and curious and she's she might be looking back onto that sort of information but she understands that her spiritual path is um you know is opening her higher chakras so she can get you know a deeper and better understanding of her spiritual journey and the sixth of earth gifts of money time or effort new career opportunities receiving a loan or paying off debts so it seems like the feminines um, really sort of you know grounding herself in these earth energies this week I mean it is the central card here and you know others in the matrix may may try to you know upset that uh, balance that she's trying to create because I mean in the matrix in the ego matrix it's all about you know um, I have to win over you and this sort of thing or I'm going to upset your plans or or something you know sort of immature and, and really not of the energies um, at this stage in our planetary evolution and so the feminine's on guard against any negative energies this week and she's balancing her energy 
her power and you know those frequencies um, are met in the matrix so as she balances herself things around you know seem to balance as well to her, you know for this whole journey that we're all on and of course she crowns with the queen of water the beautiful feminine of the king of water and relationships develop to a new level so trust your intuition and that's so true I mean that's why she's on guard here in the matrix because you know it is a, it is a harsh place where you learn your lessons where you you know move uh, on the wheel of karma you you know you take your steps to balance yourself so then you can be in control you can look back into the matrix from your you know your awakened and ascending being to see that you know it doesn't have to hurt anymore it's the energies now the universal energies are making this a, you know so many people are there bringing healing and it's happening within you and so she's looking back she's healed she's offering healing to others and she's resplendent with this beautiful Christ consciousness the universal energies because she has you know risen above you know by balancing out within herself and being on guard against you know the sort of energies that can be present in the matrix she's taken control this week of this beautiful uh, these beautiful full moon energies and the hermit spend time in quiet meditation spiritual healing and self-discovery and that's what it's all about isn't it for both the masculine and the feminine the answers are really within and you light your own understanding as you journey on the path and see he's looking into the matrix as in you know this is where I, I must go within to find my real truth who I you know who I really am and what my journey is and of course the journey is all about love it's about happiness and it's about the soul connections between people that um, you know have always been and always will be and now we go into the higher energies Ooh, the masculine has the ancient ones and the feminine has the heart of the moment well there's the matching passion between the two right there and lovers is it lovely and it's like, like see how they're looking above the matrix, you know, they're sort of leaning away from that and they're, they're looking up to their beautiful eternal love, you know. So, here we go, the ancient ones. Well, dear masculine, the ancient ones. Your spiritual growth is acknowledged and witnessed by the heavenly ones that see beyond time and space into the reality of your soul. Do not lose heart if your spirituality is not fully acknowledged, understood or appreciated by those around you in the physical world as yet. Though they may love you, it is most likely that their vision is still bound by time and space and they cannot see into the very real gains that you've made in these subtle worlds where all true spiritual growth begins. So the ancient ones reach out to you and they bring this message. We see you, beloved. We honour your growth. It is real. And soon it will manifest fully into the physical world with breathtaking beauty. We honour your light. Namaste. This oracle brings guidance that you've taken a leap in your personal growth. If you are still testing it in the physical world, trying to translate your inner changes into outer experiences, take heed. It's 
It's only a matter of time before you see reflected back to you in your physical world what you have become within. And you will see it mirrored back to you in the eyes of those around you in sacred relationship too. <laughs> and these energies are just blowing the masculine away. He is just, wow, this is full on. And it's, of course, you know, just beautiful. There are the ancient ones. There, the light coming down from the Christ consciousness. So, the masculine, when he lets go and surrenders, like, you know, he lets himself feel whatever, you know, a sadness at this completion. He is just being absolutely blown away at the same time by the power of the reality and the truth of this whole journey. There is no greater high than a spiritual high and it's blowing the ego away like, you know, it's just amazing. And the feminine has the heart of the moment. You are entering a time in your life where past and future are colliding. In this present moment, you have a powerful opportunity to decide how you wish to continue in a certain pattern of relating or not. This may mean leaving a relationship or starting a new one, but even if you cannot yet make that decision with peace in your heart, you can still partake of the heart of this moment and decide how you shall choose to be. Will you speak? Will you let go of shame and criticism, anxiety, judgment, loss, despair, and just be with your own heart now? Will you choose this moment to trust yourself, even if that trust says you have to wait a while longer before you can make a more long-term decision? This is a time when you can alter your future, stepping into relationship with another, with the divine, with yourself in a new way. Even the smallest choice for love is a step in the best direction. You have the heart of the divine within you and it's not too hard for you to choose love. Let go of people who want you to choose jealousy or fear or doubt. Their games are no fun. Choose love and who knows, maybe they'll join your party instead. This oracle brings you a message. You're in, trans in a transition zone in your life and relationships. It's one moment that will manifest as many opportunities where one choice will open up many pathways to fulfillment for you. We always have the chance to create our future with our present choices, but at this time you are in an especially fertile karmic period, having just come out of a cycle of learning and about to enter into a new cycle. This time, you'll be willing to take a chance or risk to be happy within yourself, no matter what's going on around you. So you don't, you know, have to be on guard. Trust the heart of the moment. That's where your higher self is. Wow, you can feel peace in that knowing. And that's it, see? The peace of balancing, of knowing. And, you know, the heart of the moment is for all of us because when you can truly, you know, this is just so connected and so beautiful and that's where you truly know. When you trust your higher self in the heart of the moment and, of course, the lovers. And this card starts by saying... Yes, it's love. <laughs> it drives you forward and pulls you back to your heart. It makes the mind mad with misunderstanding and breaks it open to enlightened compassion. It is love. Your yearning heart shall have it. Your destiny is to be the lover of the beloved. Be the god and the goddess of love and paint the town red. Play in passionate embrace with life as your lover and prepare to receive even more than what you believe you're capable of handling. 
and that is so true. And now we go to the unified energy field and the unified energy. The mother manifests again, can you believe this? And look at these beautiful matching colors here and the healing and everything that's going on with these. So this is the time we are healing in the matrix, we in the ego matrix. We are rising up. Our higher chakras are opening up. They're lighting up too, we really are. And what our real purpose is, and the beautiful Divine Mother, she's all about love. And that's what she wants to manifest for the Divine Lovers. I mean, that's what we're here for. Ah, oh, <laughs> number 17, the human gift. Be kind to your heart. You may believe it to be weary from doubt and distrust. So much heartbreak, so many agonies, and yet still it beats, still it persists with unquestioning allegiance to life. What a grand heart it is, this sacred heart of yours. How can it be worthy of anything other than tenderness, gratitude, acknowledgement, and appreciation? So yes, sacred sight is what is behind this oracle for you now, beloved. You are meant to be witnessing something important, something that will make the presence of the divine in your affairs more real to you. It will be something you can come to count on at all times. And in that can greater peace and the realization that yes, it is safe to trust and surrender. Beloved, it is the only safe, sane and sensible way to live. It's also the most fun way to live. And you are allowed to live this way if you so choose. It's not shirking your duty as a responsible adult. It's not deluding yourself and turning away from the real world. Rather, surrender is placing responsibility where it is best placed, firmly in the hands of that part of you, wise enough to know that the Great Beloved is wiser still and that your life unfolds according to the Great Beloved's grace. So take comfort in this oracle. Let your heart be honoured and loved by you and you realise you're human, you're light, you're dark, you're heaven, you're earth. What a pleasant blend of you. You're an extraordinary living divine experiment and you are sacred, cherished and loved by the Great Beloved. So don't fear and don't doubt. Just let it go and surrender. This oracle comes with special guidance for you. You are, or soon will be, seeing with greater clarity and insight a situation that has been obscured to you in the past. Be in the compassionate nature of your heart and you'll also be shown the most graceful way to become clear and free of darkness either within yourself or within others and the world around you. And it's so sacred, it's so beautiful and it is blessed by the beautiful Divine Mother who keeps uh, revealing herself to us and of course, through these feminine energies, through these beautiful full moon energies, um, she is healing and uh, guiding us through the Christ consciousness that she cherishes. Of course, as we all do. So uh, I'd like to say thank you very much for joining me for this reading. Thank you for your comments, your likes, your shares. And I'd like to say thank you, Lord, for guiding uh, me uh, through this beautiful reading today. And God bless you all. I hope uh, your beautiful journey continues with so much love. And this is Paula, your Golden Ray Twin Flame Earth Angel, saying thank you and namaste.